Welcome back to the Full Time Hustler, where we peel back the curtain on startup culture and dive deep into the real world trials and triumphs of entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Jason Feenster, and today we're tuning into episode 38 Mastering the Art of the Pitch Selling Your Idea to Investors. Whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, you know that a well-crafted pitch can be the golden key to unlocking investor support and funding for your venture. But what makes a pitch compelling? How do you ensure your presentation resonates with potential investors and stands out in a sea of startups? In this episode, we're going to break down the anatomy of an effective pitch. We'll explore each component, from articulating the problem and presenting your solution to detailing your business model and making your ask. Plus, we'll cover how to avoid common pitfalls and even look at some real-world examples that have successfully captivated investors. So if you've ever wondered how to craft a pitch that not only informs but also inspires investment, you're in the right place. Grab your notebook, settle in, and let's get ready to transform your pitch into the most powerful tool yet. Stay tuned because this is going to be a game-changing episode. Today, we start by delving into the heart of the matter, understanding the importance of the pitch. It's more than just a presentation. It's the bridge that connects your vision to the practical, often skeptical, world of finance. A successful pitch is crucial, as it can literally determine whether your business idea takes flight or remains grounded. First, let's define what a pitch really is. In essence, a pitch is a concise presentation typically made to potential investors, in which you outline your business idea, the problem it solves, how it solves it, and the potential return on investment. But it's not just about the what and the how. It's equally about the why. Why does your project matter? Why should anyone invest in it? And importantly, why are you the right person to succeed? The role of the pitch extends beyond just securing funding. It's your first real test in the market. Think of it as your opening argument in the court of business success. This is where you make your case to those who have the power to make or break your entrepreneurial dreams. It's about making a connection, generating interest, and creating excitement about your vision. But why is it so crucial? Statistics from the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor reveal that nearly 100 million businesses are launched annually which equates to over three businesses every second. In this crowded and competitive environment, your ability to stand out with a clear, compelling pitch could be the only thing that directs an investor's attention and capital your way. Investors are looking for more than just a good idea. They are looking for a promise of return, evidence of a thought-out strategy, and a committed team capable of executing the vision. This makes your pitch a critical tool, not only for attracting funding, but also for establishing credibility and starting valuable relationships. As we move forward in this episode, we'll break down the essential components of a successful pitch, ensuring you have all the tools necessary to captivate and convince. Whether you're preparing for a big venture capital meeting or a crucial angel investor chat, understanding the importance of your pitch is the first step to mastering the art of attracting investment. As we dive into the components of an effective pitch, it's essential to recognize that every part of your presentation must be meticulously crafted to capture and hold the interest of your potential investors. An outstanding pitch is much like a well-written story. It needs a strong structure, compelling content, and a clear message. Let's break down the critical components one by one. First, the problem statement. Every successful business addresses a specific problem or need in the market. Your pitch should begin with a clear, concise description of this problem. Why? Because a well-articulated problem statement sets the stage for everything that follows. It helps investors understand the necessity of your solution. For instance, if you're pitching a new healthcare app, don't just say it's a new app. Explain the gaps in current healthcare services that your app seeks to fill. Next, the solution. 
This is where you showcase your product or service and explain how it resolves the problem you've just outlined. Be specific. What is unique about your solution? How does it work? Why is it better than existing solutions? Remember, clarity is key. Avoid jargon and technical details that might distract from the core message. Now, let's talk about the market. Investors want to know about the demand for your solution. Define your target market and discuss its size, demographics, and growth potential. Use reliable data to back up your claims. For example, citing market research reports can demonstrate that you've done your homework and understand the landscape your business is entering. The team is another crucial element. Investors invest in people, not just ideas. Highlight the experience, skills, and track records of your team members. Emphasize how their backgrounds are suited to drive success in your specific industry. This builds confidence in your venture's ability to execute the proposed plan. We also can't overlook the business model. How will your business make money? Discuss your revenue stream, pricing strategy, sales and distribution channels, and any partnerships that will facilitate your business operations. This part of the pitch reassures investors that you have a viable, scalable business plan, not just a great product. Finally, the ask. Be clear about how much money you need and what it will be used for. Outline your proposed use of funds in a way that connects directly to your business goals and projections. Also be prepared to discuss the potential return on investment and exit strategies. This shows investors that you're thinking about their interest and the growth potential of their investment. By effectively combining these components into your pitch, you equip yourself with a powerful tool to engage investors. Each part must be thoughtfully prepared and presented with the goal of not just informing, but also exciting and persuading potential backers. Next, we'll explore how to prepare these elements to tailor your pitch perfectly for your audience. Preparing your pitch is much like preparing for a major performance. It requires understanding your audience, refining your message, and mastering the delivery. Let's walk through each of these key preparation steps to ensure your pitch not only reaches, but resonates with your potential investors. Firstly, researching your audience. Knowing who you're pitching to can make or break your presentation. Different investors have different interests, specialties, and thresholds for risk. Are they industry-specific investors? Do they prefer early-stage startups or more established companies? Understanding their previous investments can give you insights into what they might be looking for and help you tailor your pitch accordingly. For instance, if you're pitching to investors who have a strong focus on technology and innovation, emphasize the novel aspects of your tech solution. Next, crafting your message. This is where you distill the complexity of your business into a clear, compelling narrative. Start with the structure we discussed, problem, solution, market, team, business model, and ask. Each element should flow logically into the next, creating a cohesive story. Use vivid, concrete examples to illustrate your points. If your product increases efficiency, quantify that benefit with data from a pilot test or market analysis. Make sure your message is not just heard, but felt. This emotional connection can be as crucial as the logical aspects of your pitch. Now consider your visual aids and presentation tools. In today's digital age, visual, visual aids can be particularly powerful. Whether it's slides, videos, or prototypes, your visual materials should enhance your presentation, not distract from it. Keep slides uncluttered, use high quality images, and ensure that every visual element serves a purpose. For example, instead of merely describing your product, show a brief demo video that captures its functionality and appeal. This can make your solution more tangible and memorable to investors. Lastly, rehearsing your delivery. The best content can fall flat without effective delivery. Practice your pitch multiple times, ideally in front of an audience that can provide constructive feedback. Pay attention to your pacing, tone, and body language. Are you speaking clearly and confidently? 
Are you engaging with your audience? Even pauses and eye contact can significantly impact how your message is received. By thoroughly preparing each of these aspects, you will not only enhance your ability to communicate your business vision effectively, but also increase your overall confidence. When you step in front of those potential investors, you'll know you're not just presenting a business idea. You're offering them an opportunity to be part of something potentially groundbreaking. Next, we'll explore common pitfalls in pitching to investors and how to avoid them, ensuring your pitch is as flawless as possible. Pitching to investors can be a high stakes game. And while many entrepreneurs enter the arena well prepared, there are common pitfalls that can undermine even the most promising pitches. Let's delve into these typical mistakes and discuss how you can sidestep them to keep your presentation on path to success. First common pitfall, lack of clarity. Many entrepreneurs fail to communicate their ideas clearly and concisely. Investors don't have the time or patience to untangle complicated explanations. Avoid industry jargon and overly technical language that might alienate those not familiar with your specific field. Instead, focus on simplifying your message. Ensure that anyone, regardless of their background, can understand the problem you're solving and how your product or service works. Second pitfall, overlooking the competition. It's crucial to acknowledge your competition. Some entrepreneurs choose not to discuss competitors, thinking it might weaken their position. However, investors need to know that you understand your market landscape and have a strategy to outperform your competitors. Always include a competitive analysis in your pitch, highlighting what sets you apart and why your solution is superior or different. Third pitfall, failing to convey the business model. A brilliant idea isn't enough. You need a viable business model to turn that idea into a profitable venture. Some pitches lack clear details on how the business will generate revenue. Be explicit about your revenue streams, pricing strategy, and sales projections. Investors want to see a path to profitability that's based on realistic and well-researched assumptions. Fourth pitfall, ignoring the team's credentials. Investors don't just invest in ideas, they invest in people. If your pitch doesn't sufficiently highlight the expertise and experience of your team, you're missing a key piece of the puzzle. Make sure to emphasize the qualifications and past achievements of your team members, showcasing how their backgrounds are ideally suited to execute your business plan. Fifth pitfall, unrealistic financial projections. Optimism is essential for entrepreneurs, but unrealistic financial projections can be a major red flag for investors. Ensure your financial forecasts are grounded in reality, with clear assumptions that can be easily explained and defended. Investors will question these figures, so your ability to provide rational and data-backed responses is crucial. Last pitfall, underestimating the importance of the ask. Be specific about how much money you need and what exactly it will be used for. Vague requests for funding can lead to mistrust. Break down the investment you're seeking into specific areas such as product development, marketing, and operations. Also clarify what investors will receive in return, whether it's equity, debt repayment, or another form of return. By avoiding these common pitfalls, you not only increase your chances of securing investment, but also strengthen the overall impression you make on potential investors. Next, we'll look into some successful real-world pitch examples to see these principles in action, giving you further insight into crafting a pitch that truly stands out. In the world of entrepreneurship, learning from successful examples can provide invaluable insight. Today we're going to explore some real-world pitch examples that not only secured significant investments, but also made a lasting impression on their respective industries. Let's break down what made these pitches outstanding and how you can apply these lessons to your own investor presentations. First example, Airbnb. When Brian Chesky and Joe pitched Airbnb, 
they focused heavily on the size and potential of the market for peer-to-peer -peer lodging, emphasizing unique aspects of their business model, particularly the trust mechanism built into their platform. They clearly articulated the problem, a lack of affordable, authentic lodging options for travelers. Their solution? A platform that allowed people to rent out their private spaces to strangers, backed by a comprehensive user review system. They were upfront about their numbers and growth metrics, showcasing a clear trajectory of user adoption and revenue growth. Their pitch was a success because it clearly outlined not just the current state of their business, but, it, but its potential to scale globally. Second example, Dropbox. When Drew Houston sought funding for Dropbox, he faced skepticism about entering a highly competitive market dominated by giants like Google. However, his pitch effectively demonstrated the product's ease of use and superior user experience compared to existing solutions. He used a simple demo video that showed how effortlessly files could be synced across multiple devices. This direct demonstration of the product's functionality addressed potential concerns about user adoption and highlighted its practical benefits. Dropbox Pitch was particularly successful because it made the product's value proposition immediately apparent to non-technical investors. Third example, Ring. Before it became a household name, Ring was just another startup struggling to make an impact. Founder Jamie Semenov brought something special to his pitch, a clear demonstration of how the product solved a real-world problem, home security. By showcasing the ease of installation and the effectiveness of the video doorbell in real-time scenarios, Semenov made a compelling case for the product's broad appeal. He also effectively communicated his vision for a neighborhood-wide security ecosystem, which resonated well with investors looking for scalable, innovative technology. Key takeaways from these examples. 1. Clarity of problem and solution. Clearly define the problem you are addressing and how your product or service provides a unique solution. 2. Demonstrate scalability and market understanding. Show your deep understanding of the market and how your business can scale within it. 3. Live demonstrations or clear visuals. Use demos or clear visuals to show exactly how your product works and the benefits it offers, making it real and immediate for investors. 4. Solid data and metrics. Support your pitch with solid data and metrics that demonstrate traction and potential for growth. By examining these successful pitches, we can extract powerful lessons about the effectiveness of clarity, simplicity, and a strong narrative in persuading investors. Incorporate these elements into your pitch to enhance your chances of making a memorable and compelling case to potential backers. Next, we will address the most frequently asked questions about pitching to investors, providing you with even more clarity on navigating this crucial aspect of entrepreneurship. Navigating the world of investor pitching can be fraught with questions and uncertainties. Today we're addressing some of the most frequently asked questions about pitching to investors, drawing from real inquiries that entrepreneurs often grapple with. These frequently asked questions are designed to clear up common confusion and help you fine-tune your approach to securing investment. Question 1. How long should my pitch be? The ideal length of a pitch can vary, but a good rule of thumb is to keep it under 10 minutes. This time frame forces you to be concise and focus on the most compelling parts of your business case. Remember, it's about making an impact quickly. You can always delve into more details during the Q&A session. Question 2. How much detail should I include about my financials? Include enough detail to show that you understand your business model and can articulate how you will generate revenue and profit. Provide a high-level summary of your projected revenue, cost, and the timeline to profitability. Be ready to dive deeper during follow-up discussions as investors will likely ask more detailed financials to understand the risk and opportunities better. Question 3. What if I don't have any sales yet? If your business is in the pre-revenue stage, 
Focus on what you have accomplished and what validates your business idea. This could include successful pilot tests, secured patents, or a strong team with relevant experience. Emphasize market research and projections to demonstrate the potential market demand and how you plan to capture it. Question 4. How do I handle tough questions or skepticism from investors? Be prepared, honest, and transparent. If you encounter tough questions, it's usually a sign that investors are interested but need more information to gauge their doubts. Also, always back up your responses with data or clear reasoning. If you don't know an answer, it's okay to admit it, but follow up with how you plan to address that particular uncertainty. Question 5. Should I talk about potential risk in my pitch? Yes. Addressing potential risk in your pitch demonstrates maturity and foresight. Investors will appreciate your awareness of challenges and your plans for mitigating them. Outline the main risk and show that you have considered contingency plans. This builds trust and credibility. Question 6. How can I make my pitch stand out? To make your pitch stand out, tell a compelling story about your journey, the problem you're solving, and why you're passionate about this business. Use clear visuals, data points, and where possible, a demonstration of your product or service. Show your enthusiasm and confidence, as these personal elements can make a memorable impact. Question 7. Is it appropriate to follow up after a pitch? Absolutely. Following up after your pitch is crucial. Send a thank you note to express your appreciation for the time investors spent listening to you. Include a brief summary of your pitch, highlighting the main discussion points, and reiterate how your business aligns with their investment goals. This not only shows professionalism, but also keeps your project top of mind. By addressing these frequently asked questions, you're better prepared to approach your next pitch with confidence and clarity. Up next, we'll wrap up with a comprehensive conclusion and final thoughts to ensure you're fully equipped to tackle your investor pitches with prowess. As we wrap up today's episode of Full-Time Hustler, let's quickly summarize the key points we've covered about mastering the art of the pitch. We began by understanding the critical importance of the pitch and turning your business ideas into funded realities. We broke down the essential components of a compelling pitch, including the problem statement, your innovative solution, a detailed market analysis, the strength of your team, a clear business model, and a well-defined ask. We then moved into how to prepare your pitch by researching your audience, crafting a clear and impactful message, and effectively using visuals and demonstrations. We discussed common pitfalls to avoid, ensuring that your pitch not only delivers the necessary information, but does so in a way that captures and retains investor interest. And we drew inspiration from successful real-world pitch examples that showcased best practices in action. Now for the call to action. I encourage you to take what you've learned today and apply it directly to refining your pitch. Assess each component of your current pitch against the insights shared today and make adjustments where necessary. Practice your delivery. Seek feedback and continue to iterate. Remember, your pitch is a living document that should evolve as your business grows and as you gain deeper insights into your market and potential investors. Finally, I want to leave you with this thought. The journey of entrepreneurship is filled with challenges, but each pitch you make is a unique opportunity to advance your vision. Embrace each moment with confidence and clarity, knowing that with the right preparation and mindset, you can turn potential into success. Thank you for tuning in to The Full-Time Hustler. If you found today's episode helpful, please share it with other entrepreneurs in your network. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast on Spotify and your favorite podcast platform. We look forward to bringing you more insights and inspiring stories in our next episode. Until then, keep hustling and remember, every pitch is a chance to transform your dreams into reality.